if Arsenal don't qualify for the Champions League, then you'll be leaving or you're free to go. Um, is that in your mind at the moment, would, would, if Arsenal weren't to qualify for the Champions League? I didn't know about this. So. Do you know where that report has, has come no. from this morning? I, was say I don't that. know. So as far as you're concerned, you staying at the club isn't contingent on Arsenal qualifying for the Champions League next season? Yeah, I have a contract with the club, so there is like no point for me to, to leave if everybody is happy with me in the club. Now we played for a goal, uh, we've seen Joe Willett, we've seen Lewis Nelson. It's nice, it's good for, for the club, for the team. Uh, that means there is a lot of quality in the, the academy. Uh, obviously, they, they have to improve because they are young, but they are listening, so it's, it's good for us. And finally, for me, you spoke about your contract situation, you're happy at the club. How important is it that the club keep hold of uh, Pierre and Pierre Bramier? It's uh, really important. He's one of the best, or maybe the best, this season for Arsenal. So, obviously, I hope he's going to stay longer, long for, for the club. But Alex, can you? Can you, can you talk to us about how does it feel when you when you cost a lot of money and you're expected to score but the goals don't come and and who helps you through this who who helps you turn it around? Mm. The coach, my teammates as well, because obviously uh, I'm a striker, but I'm not here only to to score goals. I have to help the team to to defend and to build uh, the game. So. Um, for me, it's not the, the best part when I'm not scoring, but it is not only this. Do you feel the pressure or does it not affect you? There is a pressure, but it's not more about me because I want to score and I want to help my team, but it's not about the pressure of my, my transfer. Is it harder for maybe someone like Nicolas Pepe because he's so young and expected to score, but he's <coughs> a bit more experienced? Do you think it's hard for him to deal with those expectations? No, because he just came in the league and obvious, yes, he wants to, to score to have the team, but he knows he needs the time to to adapt to the league and the team. So now I think he's feeling better uh, on the pitch and uh, it's good. Darren? Alex, can you talk about Saka? Because he, he provided a goal <coughs> win over Newcastle and he provided the assist to be all goal last week against Olympiacos. Can you talk about his composure? I think he's got nine assists this season and the importance and, and how you rate him as, as a player who's able to provide those assists. He's really good. I think he's maybe the best young player in the league. Um, like I said, he needs to improve in few few things, but we can see the quality he has and, uh, and his handball. This is the best thing I think for him. He's really handball. He, he wants to work, he accepts the critique because he wants to improve. Can you can just elaborate on what makes him the best? Because there are some exceptional players, Mason Greenwood, for example, and some, you know, some really good players in this league. What makes him stand out for you? For him? Yeah, what makes him stand out amongst the other young players? About it's simple, his quality. He's got a good uh, left foot and because he's on ball, it's easier for him to, to improve. Any more questions for Alex? Yeah, Bart. Um, when you were on your goal drought, do you think people kind of forgot about the other qualities to your game aside from just scoring goals? A lot of people can talk. Uh, there is always something to say, so I don't really think about this. Uh, if the manager, the coach, my teammates are happy with me, this is the most important thing. We, we know you've got a very good relationship with Alba, and people talk about it all the time, but do you think people really appreciate just how good he is? When you look at his scoring record over over the years, it's a phenomenal record, but no one sort of talks about him as like Aguero or, or these sorts of players. Do you think he's as good as anything around? I think yeah, people should talk more about Oba and what he's doing in the in the game because he's more than a goal scorer. He's working a lot for for the team defensively, uh, making space. Uh, for the striker, AD or me, and uh, I just think if we start to win trophy, we're gonna talk more about what he's doing for the team. Okay, last one for Laka. 
has, has this maybe been one of the most difficult seasons or the most difficult of your career? Because a lot has happened, you haven't always started games, you've not always scored goals, and previously you've been so consistent. Um, has it been hard for you? Mm, not I would say difficult, but as well is with this kind of um, moment we improve a lot uh, mentally and we yeah keep uh, now big confidence because if I I went through this, I know I can be better now. Okay, okay, thanks, Laka. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, okay so everything for now is embargoed until 10.30 tonight.